Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today, a quick look at how to download, install and use the F35 unofficial module in DCS. So we're going to come through to this screen here from which we will download it. I'll include this URL in the video description that you are watching. Click on this link here and you'll come through to this guy here. This is a bit of a minefield, so you've got to click on the right thing and you've got to click on that there. Uh, it will be slightly different on your screen because I've already just downloaded it. Click that there, okay? It will download. It will also come up with a sales screen uh, and just get rid of that sales screen. Otherwise, that should be perfectly safe to do. Uh, get rid of all this. Next, you are going to go into your downloads area, uh, which is here for me, and that's where it's downloaded it to. And you can see you've got VSN, F35 version, blah, 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 blah. Double click there. You get this folder. Click on it left control and C and then we're going to go find our saved games folder you will probably find that in your C drive C drive users whichever user you are and then you got saved games there now I've actually moved mine to a, a place with a bigger drive so for me save games is going to be there or an F drive then DCS or DCS open beta click on there then mods, if you don't have a mods directory, then make it exactly as I've spelt it there. Then aircraft, if you don't have an aircraft directory, make it exactly as I've written there. Okay, and then I'm going to click paste. A few hundred meg, so wait. Okay, I've just finished with the pack file, so I'm going to get rid of that now. And that's all we've got to do, so let's go and start up DCS. Okay, we're in DCS now, and check the version I'm using. This is the only one I've tested it on. It may not work for other versions. Uh, version 2.5.6.47404. I do have the FC3 pack. I, we think you need the FC3 pack. This has changed recently, and most people don't really fully understand or know. Even I've even talked to the guys that made make these mods. They don't know, but we think we need the FC3 pack. What we're going to do now is go to Mission Editor. Here's a mission I made earlier. We've got four variants that we can use. So if we go here, and we've got aeroplanes, VSN, F-35A, F-35A air to ground, F-35B, F-35B air to ground. Now the reason is that these uh, vehicles are based on the F-15 and the, we, we're not actually sure if it's the MiG-20, uh, the SU-27 or the MiG-29, but one of those basically. It uses the, the flanker slash MiG model to do the air to ground and it uses the F-15 for the air to air variants. Okay, so basically, if you want to do air to air, you can. You have to use the A or the B. If you want to do air to ground, you have to use the air to ground variants. It's just limits of having unofficial mods, you know. Uh, it's just how it is. So um, why don't we go to air to ground first? And we've got this guy here, and he is a 35A air to ground. Okay, the boys are saying it's definitely an SU-27. We've got a bucket loads of weapons we can use, and a lot of these weapons actually work for an unofficial mod that's actually quite good. An Elim pod that we can have here, Phantasmagoria, which works. We've got a couple of air-to-air -air missiles there, which we can't actually really use with the uh, air to ground variant. Bombs, a whole bunch, and as far as I can see, they all work. I haven't got the JDAMs working yet, and I haven't got the laser-guided bombs working yet, but they're Possibly is a way of getting them to work. There's no real instruction manual, so I'm just doing it by testing. The CBUs will work, uh, and the uh, unguided bombs certainly work. Uh, then we've got here, uh, let me go, air to ground missiles. We've got uh, 114K, we think that's a Hellfire, don't we, boys? Which is almost probably is going to work. A 154C JSAL, uh, we haven't got that to work yet. I wouldn't be surprised if they've probably found a way of getting it to work. I just don't know it. A 84E, I think that's a harp. Is it a harpoon or a slammer, boys? I'm not actually sure what missile that is, and I haven't tested it yet. An 88C, a harm, it does work. All of the Mavericks, uh, we're pretty sure they're going to work, um, so we'll show that a little bit later. GB, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to try and get a slammer to work, because that's, that's going to be interesting. For the original slammer, so I'm going to try a slammer. Okay, so I've got a nice mix out of uh, air to ground there, and let's go and see what we can get to work. In fact, while we're here, why don't we set the air to air guy up? So we've got a Bravo here on air to air. I've just given him a bunch of AMRAMs. Uh, B's, C's, some sidewinders, and a gun pod. Save that. Let's go and have a little fly. So we're in now. As you can see, we get the SU... The boys think it's an SU-27 cockpit, so I'm going to go with them because it's based on that and it hasn't had its own cockpit model. Let's go and have a look at the exterior model, which you'll probably agree is actually pretty top-notch.
the thing about these aftermarket unofficial models they all look really top notch from the outside but obviously the inside they all struggle with for whatever reason you know don't ask me why it's, it's not really my business but without the software development kit the professional kit they just struggle with what they can do anyway uh, controls are going to be just they're the same as a flanker basically so if you've got a flanker slash an SU25 then just set your controls up the same as that um, nothing really else to point out about that so let's go and have a little play in a taxi it's going to fly just like the plane it's based on so we've got an SU27 here it's going to fly like an SU27 the uh, air, to air variant that's based on the F-15 is going to fly just like an F-15. That's how it is. They can't much uh, change how it actually flies because it's based on the original DLL uh, file for the original plane, which they can't really get access to. They can change the mods and sods, but not a lot. It's a radar cross-section. Spidgen says modeled almost certainly it will be. They would have just put it down to very low, so it will almost certainly have a very low radar cross-section. It's literally just uh, one variable they edit in a Lua file uh, that's public access file so um, and it did the same with the Raptor HUD obviously it's just a normal flanker HUD okay let's see what the sounds are like they they can put their own sounds in so let's see oh wow that's a pleasant surprise the thing about mod makers is they're mainly really nerds and nerds don't tend not to like really big crunchy sounds like I like well I'm a nerd as well but you know I'm a bit of a weird one and I like big crunchy afterburner sounds um, and this is a good one so well done VSN. Up we go. Gear up. How does it fly? Well, it feels just like a flanker, uh, which is not unsurprising. Rolls like a flanker, pitches like a flanker. So that's as it is. Let's go and have a play with some weapons, shall we? So, 7 for air to ground mode. What do we want to use first? We've got a uh, Maverick 65 Golf. So let's go around, find some targets. We're going to press the O key, I think it is, for the electro optical. We're going to slew our target designator about like thus. And let's go and find a target. I mean, I know you can't take these mods very seriously because they haven't got proper flight models at all and whatnot, or usually not proper cockpits either. But, you know, it is a game at the end of the day. Fun is allowed. So let's go and find those bad guys. Probably zoom in, but not sure how to. Uh, let's lock on to a bad guy. And super cap is. Wait, wait, wait. Rifle! Woot woot! And that was actually remarkably satisfying. Boom! Very good. Let's go and try some more wet webs, guys. Uh, we got 114. We think that's a hellfire, don't we, boys? Cap, spike, some douchebag. Sorry for the noise. Okay, we're going in with the Hellfire traps. Get the electro optical system out. Very shaky, this mod. Put a lot of shake in it for some reason. Right. Come on, douche, where are you? And cap is locked, and Hellfire! Whatever you say when you fire a Hellfire, it won't work, so let's try it again. Fire! Woot woot! My first Hellfire kill! Yeah! Isn't it cool they can put these weapons in? I know it's probably just based on a Maverick or whatever, but... Oh, they're laser guided! Oh yeah, I've got my laser rangefinder on. Yeah, I'm just learning this as I go. I haven't got time to really look at this properly. So laser rangefinder, let's see if we can turn it off. Yeah, I can turn it on and off. So that's why I couldn't fire it. Uh, out of interest, laser rangefinder is... I think that there. Right, uh, next let's try... Um, what are we going to go for? A slammer! No idea if this is going to work. Or the, I know I do, you know, the range and whatnot because there's no manual for this. So let's just go fire one close and see what happens. Okay, bad guy, check and cap, slammer away. Oh, it doesn't fire. Try the laser on. Nah, it doesn't fire. Doesn't work. Um, anything I'm doing wrong? Launch authority, genuine launch authority. I've got a guy locked up. Uh, it's just I don't know how to use them. But whether the slammer works or not, I don't know. Maybe it works in a waypoint or something, but you certainly can't use it through electro optical. Maybe there's a range limit, like you have to fire it several miles away. But anyway, you guys can, you know, this isn't a property tutorial. You guys can go and figure it out. Let's quickly switch to another wet web, see if we can use anything else. 154. JSAL got the same problem. I can't get it to fire. Maybe it needs firing on a waypoint. Maybe it needs firing further away. I'm not sure. You guys go and figure it out. Um, but either way, they're... I expect, because it is actually quite a cool working mod, I expect they probably do work, I just don't know how. Uh, I'll do one quick test and I'll fly away and see if I can do it from further away. Mm, no, it doesn't work. OK, 
Okay, can't get this J cells and the other one to work. You guys will have to go and check that out. Wow, VS and I've got Eurofire as well. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to try some bombing. It just works as the normal bombing system in the flanker. So I'm just going to show that bombs work. We'll go in with a CBU 105 wind corrected uh, copper puck thing. Stand by. Yeah, just just, just going to use the basic flanker CCIP CCRP system. But I'm just going to dumb drop it probably. The good thing about the 105 is you've only got to get it roughly in the area. On its crash, supercap. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. FC3 plane dropping CBO 105. Pretty sexy. Right, let's try the Elint out. So, Elint pod on, if I can remember how. Elint pod on. Good. Let's find a bad Sam. Set so the 88. It's done. I'm turn the TV off because I don't need that anymore. Okay, Mr. Sam, let's dance. Locked up. Supercap is. Arm away. Magnum. Look at it go. It flies like a real arm. It's so cool. Missile 12 o'clock low. Get out of here. You're messing with the lightning. Who do you think you are? Missile. Yeah, miss on my backside. Oh, I've got no flares and chaff. I forgot to set them up. Ha ha ha. Oh, 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 SpaghettiOs! Gotcha! That is the air to ground variant. You know what? I'm not even going to try the air to air variant. You're going to already set. Well, I'll get in it and I haven't set my controls up yet. This is not going to be a thorough investigation. As you can see, it's an F 15 for the air to air variant. You go in, you use the F 15 exactly as you would an F 15 with the F 15 hard, with the F 15 radar, the F 15 SMS, the F 15 RWR. You shoot stuff down with the same weapons you've got in the F 15. It's just an F 15 with an outside model, basically. And, uh, the bomb bay doors, we can't get to open. Uh, so that's all I can think of really showing. Interestingly, the stealth doesn't appear to be modeled. The F 22 module that we looked at the stealth is modeled and therefore you know that sam wouldn't have been able to shoot me this as far as i can see the stealth is not modeled i haven't done extensive testings go and download it try it have some fun learn some stuff that i couldn't do and um cool i'll see you later